Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. Pisces, this is your um, mid-monthly reading for December 2021, so this is for the December the 15th to the 31st. I'm doing this reading a little bit different. When I get into the tarot, I'm only going to, I'm doing a past, present, and future tarot reading. So I'm going to pull one card for your past, one card for the present. The present is mid-December. And then the future energy is for, I'm gearing the future energy for um, December, from December, from New Year's Eve until the ending of January 2022. Again, the future energy, I'm gearing that time from New Year's Eve until January 2022. So, I'm also going to pull you guys a, um, a time frame deck. Um, Pisces, this time frame, whatever come out for you, it resonates with you. Whatever comes out is going to resonate with you. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Oh, Pisces, keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate. Other parts of the reading might not. Keep in mind that time is also fluid. So this reading can manifest mid-December. It can manifest later on down the line in time. Or Pisces, this present reading might be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading pertaining to your past situation or circumstance. Pisces, I did get messages for you during the pre-shuffle. Excuse me. And Pisces, the message that I got was something is going to be going on with your hands. It's something to do with your hands, Pisces. And I picked up that um, Pisces. It's something to do with a dead body, Pisces. So, I picked up two scenarios. Pisces, you either work like in like a hospital or you could probably work in hospice. Um, but if you work, if this is concerning career, Pisces, you're going to run. This could be your first time uh, or your first day on a job or something. But you're going to run into like your first Hey, you're going to experience for the first time mid-December one of your patients passing away. Um, Pisces, you're not going to what you're not going to want to touch this person because they deceased. They passed away. And then I'm picking up is either your first day at work or this is your first time experiencing it. But it has to do with your hands. Um, so I don't know what your position is, but um, you're not going to want to touch it. Um, you're not going to want to touch the person's body. Or be nowhere in that situation, Pisces. Um, if this is not concerning career, I'm picking up Pisces. You might find a dead body or stumble across a dead body. And I, I picked up it's going to be in water. It's like Pisces, you're going to be in water and like the, you're going to be swimming and like touch it. So, I don't know if this is a dead animal or a dead body, but your hands is going to touch it. Um, and it, like, might float over you. Like, you're swimming and you're going to come in contact with something that's dead. So, I picked up heavy that it's a body or it's like a dead animal or something. And Pisces, you're going to be too through. You're going to be too through. Um, so, Pisces, I don't know if you're somewhere, like, on vacation. You can be in a warm climate and you swimming somewhere. Um, what else I picked up? Oh, the other scenario I picked up Pisces was in mid-December or whenever this energy manifests, something's going to be going on with your hands. Pisces, I don't know if you can have like, um, <clears throat> say like you have like, um, an ingrown something going on with your finger. It could be something that starts like in your finger, like an infection or something. And Pisces, I was told to tell you, don't take it lightly. Because something that starts with your hand, like your finger, it could be an infection that's like in one of your fingers. If you don't take care of it, Pisces, you can pass away from this. Like, like a dead body. You might pass away because something that starts in your hands. And it could just be like on one hand or one finger and it might spread. If you don't take care of this in time. Because whatever this thing is, this infection... um. You can pass away from it. So, Pisces, if something is going on with your hand, 
some type of swelling, you get bit by an animal or something, an insect, treat this immediately. Like, go to the hospital, whatever, because it can lead to you passing away. So, just be mindful of that. But those were the messages I got for you, Pisces. Um, I also picked up a scenario. This is minor, but it's still something like Pisces that's going to make your stomach crawl. Pisces, you can have a newborn baby or whatever, but you're going to come into your hands is going to come in contact with like some bodily fluid. Um, Pisces, you could be a man and like changing your baby diaper for the first time and the feces is going to get on your hand and Pisces, you're going to be two through. So I don't know if you're trying to change a baby pamper. If somebody, you get somebody uh, vomit on your hands, it's something like a infection or nasty that's going on with your hands, Pisces. Um, so it could be something as minor as like you changing a baby pamper or you get like somebody else's vomit in your hands or something. So I, so those are the messages that I got. So let me go ahead and jump into the reading. So your message from, okay. So I put you guys a message from the stars. You got a message from the stars. I picked your overall energy and then I picked you guys an advice card. So your message from the stars is no longer holds power over you. So Pisces, in mid-December, something or someone will no longer have power over you. No longer has holds power over you. Dissolve attachments of the past with love. So number 10. Again, something or someone in mid-December will no longer hold power over you. Dissolve attachments of the past with love. Pisces, I I also heard this person or thing. You're going to have to to dissolve this issue with love. So you can't dissolve this with hate, anger, revenge. You have to dissolve something with love. So this is a person, a place, or a thing, because something had power over you, Pisces. But you're gonna have to dissolve it. Dissolve some type of attachment, but with love. So. Your overall energy was unexpected income. So Pisces, it's not um, a coincidence that this card came out and it got hands in it. So unexpected income. <clears throat> so Pisces, this could be your, your messages, Pisces, is concerning hands. So this could be you might find this dead body could something to do with your career, Pisces. And it's like you might get unexpected income. Like this card could be telling me this is something to do with a new job or career, Pisces. And you might run into a dead body because of your new job or career. Or Pisces, you might be the one to stumble across the dead body. And like you might get paid some type of money from like your town or city where you find this body at. Or something. Pisces, I'm also picking up if you're like a child care provider or you're doing a favor for like a family or a friend. And somebody's child might vomit. Or, like, use the bathroom on you or something. Their parent is going to pay you, like, some money just for the inconvenience. So, that could be going on, too. Somebody's child might get sick and, in, in like, um, while you're watching them. And Pisces, the parents, is going to pay you some unexpected money for just the inconvenience. Yeah, because I picked up. Somebody's going to, Pisces, you're going to either have feces or, it's like, vomit, and, like, and on your hands or in your hands. And this could be because you're, like, um, providing some type of child service for somebody. And um, the family is going to give you, like, some extra money for the inconvenience. Yeah. Like, okay. So, let me read unexpected income. That's your overall energy, Pisces. So, it's a, literally, it's a small sum from an unexpected source. A surprise work bonus. Small billing error you fix. A reduction in your gas bill. Bonus cell phone minutes. Not as large as the amount concerning sudden wealth. The unexpectedness leads to a notion of suddenly, swift, surprisingly. Small bonds, notes, payments, household accounts, offers, purchases, invoices, checks. Something lucky occurs around everyday financial activities such as a raise or unexpected money from work or investments. This is also the card for formal contracts requiring a signature. Timing, about two weeks. 
So there's a timing aspect to this energy in this two weeks. This card signals a sudden, unexpected change and improvement. Unexpected message in love matters or an invitation or a message. It may also indicate a promotion or unexpected recognition. Unexpected gratification or award. Yeah, Pisces, I, for some of y'all, y'all might be on a vacation. And y'all, mm-mm, I think... What I saw, mm -mm, that dead body going to flow all over you, Pisces, while you swimming. And you going to just be too through. Somebody dead body. Pisces, it's going to, mm, let me be quiet. But Pisces, you might get rewarded or the family. You finding this body, Pisces, and reporting it. The family might give you some income, some type of unexpected money. Because um, you found, you stumbled across somebody's family member, dead body. Um, or you might even get recognition, Pisces, or it might be on the news or something. Pisces, it could be even something where <laughs> you might get filmed, like somebody might catch it on camera, like your reaction to this. So you might get some type of recognition or something like that from like something that happened. You might get caught, like not caught, but you're going to get filmed, like your reaction to this. So, that might go live or something, Pisces, and you might get recognized for that uh, video or something. You might get some recognition for that video going viral. Your reaction to a dead body might get go viral or something like that. So, um, your advice. Your advice is doubt. And they say, I release the need to know all the answers. So, Pisces, your advice is to release the need to know all the answers. Release the need to know all the answers. So, what's Pisces' uh, time frame? What's Pisces? What's the time for Pisces, May, December? Okay, we have one year. So, Pisces, a year from now, something one year, one year. Something to do it a year. So today is December the 15th. So Pisces. December the 15th, 2022 might be significant for you. Today is December the 15th. So something significant might happen for you or to you regarding you for December the 15th next year. Okay, so let me get into the tarot. So. What's, what's, what was going on with Pisces in the past? What was the past energy for Pisces? Okay, we have the sun. So Pisces, you could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. Some type of exposure. This could also be marriage. Give me present energy for Pisces. For the present, for mid-December. Present energy for Pisces. The Ace of Pentacles. Pisces, you can have Earth in your chart or you're dealing with an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So the, your present energy, Pisces, is um, the Ace of Pentacles. So Pisces, mid-December, somebody might offer you some type of something practical. The Ace of Pentacles is something practical. This could be somebody asking you out on a date. Um, some type of, this could be uh, purchasing a home, a bonus, a raise. This can also be unexpected income. Pisces, if you are pregnant and you're close to your due date, um, you might go into labor and have your baby sometime mid-December. Because the Ace of Pentacles can be the birth of a baby. Like, the baby is here. The Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> so, Pisces, somebody is making you an offer or you're making somebody else an offer in this Ace of Pentacles. And it could be you receiving this offer. And then we have unexpected income up there. So, Pisces, it could be you receiving this offer. So, this could be a new car, purchasing a home, um, giving birth, um, somebody asking you out, going, asking you to go out on a date and you accepting this offer. Um, it could be you and your lover moving in together, taking things to the next level. What's the future um, energy for Pisces? For the future, again, the future energy, the time frame I geared the future energy for is New Year's Eve until until the ending of January 2022. 
So that's this is the future. So what's Pisces future energy? All right, so we have the Hierophant. So Pisces, you can have Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with a Taurus. So this could be something to do with a marriage. Because we have the sun is marriage and then the Hierophant could be marriage too. So let's see. Give me an issue for Pisces past energy with the sun. So Pisces in the past. You could have been married. Something could have gotten exposed. The sun card could also be somebody who's having an excellent day at work. The sun card could be somebody who had a good day at work. Everything was just perfect. Um, this could have been some recognition concerning your career. The sun or some type of happiness. Pisces, this could be if uh, Pisces, um, this could be a, a child. The sun could also be a child. So Pisces, maybe in the past you had a boy. Pisces, in whether you a male or a female, Pisces in the past you could have had a boy. And Pisces, maybe in um, mid December you could be pregnant, or Pisces you have somebody pregnant, and it's a girl. It could be something like that going on. So, in the past, you could have had a boy. The son could literally be you had a boy child. Yeah, something like that. What's the issue concerning the son in the past? What's the issue? What was the issue surrounding the son? What was the issue? What was going on with Pisces in the past? What was the issue? This card keep coming out. Hothead. I just did um I did Capricorn and I think it was Aquarius and this came out it keep coming out hot head so in the past Pisces concerning your son the son you or somebody else was a hot head quick to anger snappy gets pressed easily so Pisces in the past you could have been married and somebody you was married to could have been a hot head or Pisces you was the hot head in this marriage. So, again, the son could be a marriage. The son could be your child, a boy child. Um, the son could be at work. But the issue around the son, something that probably made you happy, Pisces, you or somebody else was a hothead, quick to anger, snappy, gets pressed easily. That was an issue around the son energy in the past. Give me a charm card for the sun, for Pisces in the past. Give me a charm card. Crown, honor. So, yeah, that could have been a marriage. Pisces, if you a man, in the past you had a son. And it could have been your first child was a son. And Pisces, that was your crown, your honor. You wanted your first child to be a boy, and it was. Um... If the, if your if this boy child was not your first child, you just in the past Pisces you got you a boy child, and that was your crown and your honor. Pisces, if you are a man, you had a son child, that was your crown, your honor, and you could have also married um the child's mother. Yeah, so you could have got married, or you was just married. The son could be letting me know you were married. Pisces, whether you a male or a female, you were married in the past. Or in the past, Pisces, you got crowned. Somebody could have married you in the past. What's the T with um? What's the T with Pisces in the past with the sun and crown honor? What's the T with that? Giving money rejected. Oh. So Pisces in the past, you could have been trying to give somebody money. And they rejected this money. Or Pisces, you could have been trying to get a loan and you were rejected. So you could have been giving somebody money and they rejected your money. You could have been rejected concerning a loan. Or somebody was trying to give you some money, Pisces, and you rejected it. Some money was rejected. So this is like um, a loan or like something from hand to hand, some money. That giving money card can also, to me, in this deck, 
could be somebody paying for spell work. So Pisces, maybe in the past you paid for like some type of spell work, but it didn't work. Let me see. What in the world is this telling me? Giving money and reject it. Is this something to do with a loan? Giving money and reject it. Is this something to do with a loan? Can this be a loan? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pisces, you was rejected from some type of monies, and it could have been a loan. Um, Pisces, I don't know in the past if it was your happiness for somebody to get rejected from a loan. Well, Pisces, you was rejected from a loan. So, Pisces, this could be telling me in the past, Pisces, whether you a male or a female, the sun could be telling me marriage. <clears throat> and it's like, Pisces, you married your person or you got married, but you guys could have been rejected from a loan. So, this could have been a loan to purchase a ring, a loan to get a home because y'all married now. But it's like when you went to go apply for the home, you got rejected or something like that. Let me see what the sun is. The sun concerning Pisces past. Is this a marriage? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that was a marriage. It was a marriage. So Pisces, in the past, you were married. You got married. Or you wanted to be married. I think you got married, Pisces, in the past. But you guys were rejected from something. And it was a loan. So, Pisces, if you a man, say like you wanted to get your wife a, a very expensive ring. You applied for a loan or some type of financial assistance and you got rejected. So, you probably had to purchase a, a cheap ring. You didn't get your wife the ring you wanted her to have or something like that in the past. Or, Pisces, your person proposed to you and you didn't like the ring. But it was because he got rejected from a loan to finance a ring or something. Something like that. But let me go on to the present. And the present energy is the Ace of Pentacles. And this is mid-December. Until the end of December. Okay. So what was the issue? What's going on with Pisces mid-December with this Ace of Pentacles? What's the issue surrounding this Ace of Pentacles? What's the issue? Problematic. Creates problems all the time. Become a damn problem. Headache dealing with them. All right. So, Pisces, you could be married and you and your person is not getting along. So, Pisces, you could be in separation from a lover, your ex-spouse or whoever. And this person could be coming back to you mid-December and trying to make you an offer. But, Pisces, I don't think you want to offer from the, your ex because this person is problematic. Creates problems all the time. Become a damn problem. Headache dealing with them. So Pisces, a lover could be coming to make you an offer mid-December. And it could be your husband or your wife. This person you married in the past. Because Pisces is telling me, Pisces, especially if you a female. <laughs> your husband like proposed to you, but you didn't like the ring. But it was because... He, he he got rejected for some money. Or Pisces, you was waiting on y'all to get a house, but your lover, I don't know. Your lover probably got financial issues. And it's like Pisces in the present. This is like Pisces, your lover coming to you. Your husband. <laughs> and it's like Pisces, this could be him asking you to go out on a date or I'll get you a new car or let's try to go get that loan again for that home. Or Pisces, you could be pregnant by this man, your husband, in mid-December. <sighs> but Pisces, you know this, your husband is not good with his finances. So whatever this offer is, Pisces, this is like, say like your husband. You love your husband, but your husband cheat. And it's like, Pisces, your husband come to you and be like, let's go out to eat. And it's, Pisces, it's like, Pisces, when you get there, he wants you to pay for half of the dinner. It's like, you know your husband is offering you this offer. But it's, it's going to be some bull crap with it, Pisces. It's like, Pisces, he wants you to go out to eat, but he going to make you pay for half of the, make you pay for your food or something like that. Something is problematic. Or, Pisces, you pregnant by this man, and you know it's about to be a problem?
Yeah, then we got Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so this can definitely be a spouse. Pisces, your... <coughs> your person... There's certain aspects of your person you, you can't stand. You can't stand it. And it could be their finances or this person is cheap. Give me an oracle for the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, give me a charm card for the Ace of Pentacles. Give me a charm card for the Ace of Pentacles. Horse power. In this deck, this um, card can be a vehicle, like the chariot energy. Or this is like my card for like ammunition. This horse, this power. Pisces, this could also be telling me, Pisces, you could be pregnant by your husband. Or Pisces, if you a man, you don't got your wife pregnant. Y'all don't get along, but you got her pregnant. Pisces, if you a female, it's like your husband got you pregnant because that's his power. He wants you to stay, so he trying to trap you with a baby. He wants you to get pregnant again. That's his power. Pisces, if you a man, it's the same thing. It's just vice versa. You don't, you and your wife, you don't like her. And it's like, Pisces, you done got this woman pregnant again. But that's her power. That's how she stays around. That's the reason why y'all haven't broken up. Because y'all keep having kids or something like that. Or somebody considers this Ace of Pentacles a victory. Or this could be a car. Pisces, somebody could be trying to give you a car. Your lover could be trying to give you a car. Because that can be the chariot. The chariot can be the, a car. Pisces, a lover could be trying to reconcile with you. And they want to buy you a car. But Pisces, it's like, you know, say like Pisces, you married. But you in separation from your husband. And your husband come to you mid-December. Pisces, I want to get you a car. But Pisces, you don't want your husband to get you a car. Because then he going to think he can move back in. And y'all getting back together. Because he done purchased you a car. So something like that could be going on. Yeah, something is going to become a problem. Problematic. That's the issue with that Ace of Pentacles. It's going to become a problem. What's the T with the Ace of Pentacles and Horse? With Pisces in the present. What's the issue? Chasing, yep. Mm-hmm. Chasing, yeah. So, Pisces, a lover could be coming back around mid-December. And it's like when, when your lover make you this offer, your lover, your lover either, either expects you to chase them or, Pisces, your lover is chasing you. It's like they won't leave you alone. Whether y'all married or not, they won't leave you alone. It's like they're chasing you. Or, Pisces, like I said, you and this lover could be in separation, and it's like this lover is going to make you an offer, possibly even a car. But it's like, Pisces, your lover expects you to chase him for it. Like, this could be a lover saying, Pisces, I got you a car, but um, you're going to have to come get it. I'm not going to drive it to your house. You're going to have to come get it. And it's like, Pisces, you like, okay, cool, thank you. And then, Pisces, you be like, okay, but what time? And your lover be like, I don't know. Just gonna, you just gonna have to come. You gonna have to catch me when you catch me. Like, Pisces, some y'all, yeah. This could be a lover. Some, yeah. It's just something, certain things about your lover that you, mm -mm, you don't like dealing with this lover. He gonna be like, I don't, I don't know. You gonna have to. It's like, yeah. This offer is a problem. It's gonna become a problem, Pisces, and I think you know that. Yeah, something like that. So, let me go on to the future. Again, this future energy is... <clears throat> I, the time frame I geared it towards was New Year's Eve until the ending of January 2022. So, Pisces, you hire font. So, this could, this could be you married. This could be you very high vibrational, Pisces. Or you're married. You could just be in separation from your um person. So, Pisces, this could also be a situation. You was married in the past. You could have got a divorce. And you could be getting remarried. 
And like your ex-spouse could be trying to reconcile with you. Because you're getting remarried or something like that. But either way, the higher front could be marriage. The higher front could also be the prison system. Or Pisces, you're very high vibrational in the future. You're going to be very high vibrational. And Pisces, if this is the higher front is telling me you're high vibrational, I see why. I see why. Your lover is like very inconsiderate, um, very rude, very inconsiderate, very manipulative, Pisces. So you're going to have to be higher for energy to like ignore this person or know how to deal with this energy. You're going to have to be very high vibrational to stay high, high vibrational Pisces. You're going to have to be high vibrational and stay there and not let this lover like pull you out of your element. But what's the issue with Pisces in the future with the higher font? What's with the issue surrounding the higher font? What's going on with the higher font? What's the issue surrounding the higher font? To me, sometimes the higher font could be somebody that's unreachable. Unreachable. So Pisces, in the future, your energy is going to be unreachable. So Pisces, in the past, you probably had a lover that knew how to push your buttons. But you're going to be unreachable. This person not going to figure out. This person is not going to figure out. Is not going to be able to figure out why they can no longer push your button. Because you're unreachable. Pisces, your spouse or whoever this person you're dealing with. This person could be a karmic or they're low vibrational. So it's like Pisces. This person don't know how to bring you down. Because you like outpassed them. You outdid them. It's like you're not getting on the level with that person no more. They can't reach you. They don't know how to make you mad no more. They don't know. Yeah. Because it's like this higher font is looking down. This higher font is looking down at them two people. Them two people can't reach that higher font. They got to bow to the higher font. Yeah. So what's the issue surrounding the higher font? Denial. Denial. Refusing to believe their true feelings and thoughts. This came out too for Aquarius. Yep. So Pisces, you or somebody else in the future is in denial. That's the issue surrounding maybe this marriage. Or somebody might end up in jail. And somebody could be in denial about why they in jail. Or Pisces, you might have to put somebody in jail. Pisces, you um could also be like a probation officer or something. And one of your clients, you might have to put this person back in jail, Pisces, and you really don't want to, but you have to. And this person going to be in denial about why you put them back in jail or something like that. <clears throat> Give me, what? Let me hurry up. I'm, I went over time. <clears throat> Um, give me a charm card for the higher font for Pisces in the future. Give me a charm card for that. Mm-hmm. Lantern and the guidance. Yeah. Pisces, you're going to be very high vibrational. Un unreachable, Pisces. Because um, this lantern and the guidance is my card for intuition. So you're going to be very intuitive. Pisces, you could have Virgo in your chart or you're dealing with a Virgo. Because this is lantern. It's like the hermit energy. That lantern. Solitude. The hermit. Inner guidance. This is intuition. Wisdom. So what's the T? Or Pisces. The cards. I just heard Pisces. You're going to have to be. Intuitive. To get somebody off your back. Ain't no other way dealing with this person. You have to be intuitive. That's like, mm, mm So, Pisces, you probably in denial about that. You're still trying to deal with somebody, like, from a logic standpoint. And, Pisces, you could be in denial. It's somebody in your energy. It could be a lover. It don't have to be. But, Pisces, the only way you're going to defeat this person or get this person off your back, you're going to have to be intuitive. 
Yeah, that's the only way. And possibly it could be the only way to humble this person. You could be dealing with a very arrogant person. And you have to be intuitive dealing with this person. You can't be logical or low vibrational with this person, Pisces. You have to be in, intuitive. Or unbreakable. I just heard unbreakable. But what's the T with the Hierophant and Lantern? Yeah, jackpot. Mm -hmm. Winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money, jackpot. Okay. All right. So, Pisces, whoever you're dealing with, whether it's an ex-lover or a lover, it could even be your husband or your wife. Pisces, you're going to, in the future, Pisces, you're going to get some money. And you're going to have to protect your money. You're going to have to protect your money. So, Pisces, I don't know if there's a lover around you who steals from you and you in denial about that. You can be in denial that is your own lover stealing from you. Somebody in denial. Yeah, Pisces, you might get some money, a jackpot. You might win some money. You're going to get some type of rich, some rich, some type of inheritance or unexpected money. And then we have unexpected income. Um, yeah, Pisces, and you might have to guard your money. So this might be, you, you have to get a secret bank account or Pisces. Yeah. Something like that. You're going to have to do to protect your money. This jackpot, you're going to have to protect it or Pisces. You're going to get some unexpected money in an unexpected way. And you could be in denial about it. Like you can't believe like you, you won't be in denial, Pisces. So this could be a situation, Pisces, where you set up a go me fund for something. And Pisces, you're going to be in denial that people is responding to you. You like going to be in denial about a jackpot. Something like that going on with some money. So Pisces, you're either going to have to have to guard your money at all costs, even get a secret account or put extra security on your money. Or, or Pisces, you're going to get some unexpected money. And Pisces, you're going, you, you're going to be in denial about it. Or something like that going on. <clears throat> Pisces, that higher font energy can also be the most high. The higher font can be the presence of God. And Pisces, in the future, God might do something for you. The most high, the universe might bless you. And Pisces, you're going to be in denial. You're going to be in denial. Because Pisces, it's like... This is the most high. And Pisces, this is you. This could even be you and like your spouse. And it's like Pisces, it's like whatever you and your spouse tried to do in the past and y'all got rejected from it. The most high is going to fix it in the future to where y'all able to purchase this item. And it could have been a home. And Pisces, you're going to be so happy, but you're going to... Be, it's like you're not going to be able to believe it. This could even be an answered prayer. This could be an answered prayer, Pisces. Spirit could have also helped you manifest something. And Pisces, you can't believe it. You can't believe it. Give me the tea about denial. Give me the tea about this. And I'm picking up like tears of joy, Pisces. Tears of joy. Pisces, if you ain't know God was real in the past, you're going to know in the future. That's what I'm picking up. If you didn't know God was real, he's you're going to know he's real in the future. And then screenshots. Getting evidence, proof, and facts. Yeah. Yep. Mm, screenshots. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. It's some type of evidence or proof of something. Pisces, you either, you either have all the evidence in the world to protect your money or to keep your money away from your spouse or someone. You have screenshots of something, but you're still in denial. Or you have evidence that you received a jackpot, Pisces, but you're going to be in denial. This could be some unexpected money in your account. 
This could be you, like I said, doing a GoFundMe page in Pisces. You go back to the GoFundMe page and you look at what you raised, the donations in Pisces. You're not going to be able to believe it. It's like you have the, the screenshots, the evidence, the proof, and the facts. But Pisces, you can't believe it. Or Pisces, like I said, you can be like a parole officer or something. And Pisces, you got all the proof and facts. To put your client back in jail. They got to go back to jail. They could have violated their probation. Um, in Pisces, your client going to be in denial. Your client going to be in denial. <clears throat> Pisces, you even might be a tarot reader. Or you're dealing with something like with a client. You can be a pro probation officer or something. Or you work for the police. Or you a CO or something, Pisces. And you're going to get screenshots and evidence and proof and facts against someone. But you're going to get it intuitively. And when you catch this person, Pisces, they're going to be in denial. Or Pisces, you're in denial about something that you found out intuitively or something like that. But I'm going to end it because that's what I have. That's what I have, Pisces. Um, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And Pisces, um, enjoy the remainder of, of December. Did you enjoy the new year and have um, a nice holiday? Thank you, Pisces.